hi you are welcome to so precious fertility and lifestyle hub how have you been i trust you've been doing well okay i am your host today um in we'll be dealing with the fertility series they we call them the fertility bad guys if for any reason you miss the video because we're in number five <laughs> so if you have not watched any of the videos we've talked about fertility corporate number one two three four you need to go back because the information we're sharing are building on top of each other there is a reason why this one is number five so you need to watch the previous videos okay today we're talking about caffeine <laughs> okay i don't know about you but growing up the first time i heard about the word caffeine i'm like okay they're not talking to me i don't drink coffee <laughs> it's not my business but most urban women consume at least 100 milligram of caffeine every day talk about coffee is like you know the chick is like the in thing is like very, it's very urban you know i'm going for a cup of coffee you know it's the first thing when you travel <laughs> it's what welcomes you at the airport it welcomes you at work you know like coffee welcomes you here i am you know and you could say okay I, but i don't take coffee but you do beverage you do soda your yeah, soft drink you do energy drinks energy drinks you do milk chocolates so you are the one that i'm talking to <laughs> let me read you some facts about caffeine a cup of black or green tea. Did you know that black and green tea? Because these are the things that we talked about in our new book, Getting Pregnant with Ease. We explained, you know, tea is not tea. You know, when you mention tea to an average person, like, okay, tea. No, not every tea. All teas are not created equal. So the black and green tea actually contain caffeine, but typically contains less caffeine than coffee. A can of energy drink contains 80 milligram of caffeine. One can of soft drink, that's your normal soda drink contains 50 milligram of caffeine did you know that 100 gram bar of milk chocolate contains 20 milligram of caffeine you see we have a lot of um scientific literature literature and evidence because like i said everything we discuss here is an investment of over six thousand hours of hard proven tried and proven evidence-based research so we have evidence like that's more than 250 milligrams of caffeine a day increases a woman's risk of endo and total factor infertility we're talking about approximately 300 milligrams of caffeine in three cups of coffee so women who consume more than 500 milligrams of caffeine take longer to conceive than women who don't and an intake of more than 500 milligrams of caffeine has also been reported to increase the risk of a miscarriage. We have evidence that caffeine crosses the placenta, listen to this, into the fetus and has a prolonged metabolism of around 15 hour shelf life, 15 hour half life. What this means is, I'll give you the details, is that if a mother takes about, let's say 200 milligram of caffeine at, you know, going for a nine o'clock morning meeting, it's been proven that he will, she will still have 100 milligrams in her body system by midnight. Listen, no, she took this by 9 a.m. in the morning. By midnight, she still has 100 milligrams in her system because the body does not get rid of this till 3 p.m. the next day. This explains why the crankiness and all the you know, migraine headache and all that, that comes alongside with this you know, product, this um, critical product that we're talking about, caffeine, still lingers until this period. Consuming 100 mg of caffeine per day, we're talking about a small cup of coffee, increases the risk of having a baby with low birth weight by 7%. Low birth weight increases the risk of the child developing diseases like obesity, high blood pressure, and diabetes later in life. You see, these are not figures that you want to double with, especially when you're trying for a child because your fertility window is relatively small. So these are not figures you, 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 you want to, you know, to joke with. This is something that we really dealt in details in our new book, Getting Pregnant, is by the way, if for any reason you've not gotten your copy, print works are ongoing. So we're dispatching hard copies really soon. And also we have um, delivery plans for those that order outside Nigeria. We'll have several loads and loads of pickup locations. There must be, if you're ordering in Nigeria, there is... A pickup location close to you and once we get your order we will we'll relate those to you so you know a chapter was dedicated to these critical factors and caffeine it was one you know that was identified to actually play a key role in the life of an urban adult so let's look at what this bad guy does to the body one it inhibits ovulation hands down just trust, trust me it's any 
coffee addict that is trying for will tell you that their ovulation they don't even know if they ovulate or when they do if they do so it inhibits ovulation it shatters the menstrual cycle it's irregular it reduces if for any reason you're you know going for assistant reproduction like ivf it reduces the number of eggs that will be harvested or retrieved you know for the procedure so even if for any reason conception happens or manages to happen it increases the risk of a miscarriage happening because it does this by you know disturbing the uterine um, uterine lining and this prevents the implantation of the fertilized egg so these are not things you want to dabble with and because it affects the urban adult if you're trying for a child or you have a plan to you know get married soon or not a child is something you need to prepare you need to prepare your body which is the most important and the first home of your baby you need to make your body baby friendly so you need to look yourself in the mirror the, we go to our blog, you know, www.soprecious.ng. You see loads of herbal teas options that if you really love coffee or you must take a warm, you know, liquid at particular days of times of the day, there are several options that you can explore and get and, you know, filled with antioxidants. The, you know, they have health and shonen benefits aside um, this bad guy. <laughs> so give this attention. It's something that you need to address. It's very, you know, someone could say, oh, but can't I have a little bit? And I'm thinking... Is this thing really important to you? This pregnancy, is this baby matter, is it really important to you? With all these fats that will have laid down your feet. So you need to give it attention and, and um, choose um, safer alternative you know, options that are good for you and good for your baby. So do this and give it attention. Of course, I want to hear from you. We have a very engaging online platform. Find me on social media at So Precious Lifestyle. Of course, I want to hear from you. I'll be delighted to hear from you. I want to know what you think about this video. If you love it, keep sharing it until it gets to someone that, you know, needs to hear this. Subscribe, like, and share the links and the video. Till we meet again, keep living healthy and keep living your best life yet. Bye.